Valerie Dennison with the Group Travel family, and we are actually on the ABA Marketplace floor, but we are in the Virginia Beach booth here, and it is absolutely stunning. Sitting here with me is Mitchell Welch, and he is with the Military Aviation Museum in Virginia Beach, right. and he's going to tell us a little bit about what they can do to accommodate your motor coach group. Mitchell? Thank you. Well, the Military Aviation Museum is a museum of about 75 aircraft, the majority of which are war veterans. So it's a history of aviation for the first 50 years. So I think Wright Brothers through the Korean War. So we have multiple hangars for tour buses to come in and visit. We can accommodate groups for outdoor entertainment. They can dine with us, have lunch with us. They can stay for dinner, do an afternoon tour. We can arrange for a dinner buffet for them. Uh, they can watch some of these aircraft fly if they like to see it. Most of our aircraft still fly, so it's a very unique museum. It's uh, a living museum, so you're not going to see a whole lot of hands-on, interactive, fixed stuff because these aircraft roll in and out of the hangar all the time to go flying. How exciting! We have a runway right there with the museum as part of it. We're uh, just 20 minutes from the boardwalk, still in Virginia Beach. People sometimes don't think that driving out, but it's not that far, and it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, piece of history to enjoy. We have an actual German aircraft hangar that we disassembled, brought back over, and re-erected. It houses several of our German aircraft. We have a brand new, <laughs> brand new uh, operations tower that we disassembled and bought in England, and it was the first operations control tower that the Army Air Corps took over for, to, from the Royal Air Force when the United States joined World War II in about June, July 1942. That's the Royal McCoy we've disassembled, brought back, and reassembled on our property. So we're populating it now with components. So that's, it's real history, real aircraft, as well as the stories that goes with these aircraft. How exciting and interesting is that? Absolutely, we can handle buses two, three at a time. We've had the USO show tour at our facility, handled 16, 17 buses. They'll eat, dine in the hangar, they'll dine in the air conditioning if they want to, it's a hot summer day. We have air shows throughout the year. We have an air show in May that focuses on our World War II airplanes. We have an air show in October that focuses on our World War I, Great War air show. And we have one of the only one in the country, the other one's in England, it's called the Flying Proms. And we have a symphony orchestra, plays aviation themed music. The airplanes fly behind the band shell to match those movie themes and TV themes and radio show themes. They land, they come up and park next to the, uh, the band shell. The guests can come forward to intermission and see it. it. That took us to sunset, so the band, the orchestra plays the second act, and we wrap it up with a beautiful fireworks show right overhead as you're sitting there in your beach blankets and, and lawn chairs. That sounds absolutely amazing. There's a lot of stuff to do for everybody. So Mitchell, if somebody wanted to contact you to book a group, um, could you give them your contact information? Absolutely. One, you can check out our website. It's militaryaviationmuseum.org and you look on the events tab and you'll get my email address. It's events at aviationmuseum.us. Again, my name's Mitchell Welch, I'm the events coordinator, and give me a call and we'll make that trip very special and unique for your tour group. Get in touch with Mitchell, he will take great care of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mitchell. My pleasure.